Hi guys, on this video I have a DIY how to glam up this, these canisters, they're kitchen canisters, but I think you could use them for the laundry or even the bathroom, but I'm going to use them for the kitchen. This is a four piece airtight glass kitchen canisters and the, the lids are made out of bamboo. You could leave the lids as they are, but I wanted to glam it up a little bit. So what I did, I purchased these for in Amazon. I'm going to leave my link below. If you guys are interested, also I'm going to use some resin, epoxy, and some cute handles to give it that cute touch on the top. So if you guys want to see how I glammed up these four canisters, then let's go ahead and start this DIY. The only thing that we're going to really glam up is actually the lids and I wanted to make it really easy that if they took it dirty I could actually uh, clean it up so that's why I did not really use hot glue on this DIY. Working with epoxy and resin which is what we're going to be doing uh, just for the lids on the top part could be very challenging so if this is a route you guys also want to do go ahead and read the instructions in your epoxy kit and wear gloves also wear a mask because the scent could be very overpowering so i did remove the plastic parts that makes the uh, containers or the lids airtight and i also put blue tape to protect the bottom part which the, because the only part we're going to be adding the epoxy is going to be on the top part of the lid You could get as creative as you want. I wanted to create like a marble look and that includes just white and gray colors or gray glitter. I'm gonna be using resin and you need equal parts A and B. And these are the glitters that I like, which is almost a white and a gray tone. And that's what I'm gonna be using for the lid. Just make sure that you put the tape all around the bottom part. That's going to make it a lot easier. So then you just could just remove the tape when the epoxy has set and it has been completely dry. So the first thing we do is using or getting equal parts from A. What I decided to use was about 15 ml of the A and then 15 ml of side B. And I mix it individually using the popsicle sticks and then I combine the A to the B and then I mix it for about three minutes. To be safe, you don't have to mix it for three minutes. You could even continue mixing a little bit longer. Uh, that will help remove all the air bubbles. Once I'm happy with the consistency and I'm happy how well it has mixed and I don't see that many air bubbles, then what I'm gonna do is add the acrylic paint. One tip I would have preferred doing was adding the acrylic paint right on top of the bamboo lids apply it and paint it and then let it dry but i would have taken a little bit longer so this was the easiest way to do it the fastest way to do it was adding the acrylic paint right to the epoxy that was just mixed also not to just leave it white since i'm going with more of a marble kind of glitter look then once i mix the acrylic i'm gonna add the glitter and we're gonna be adding those two colors that i share which is just a white but also a gray tone and then just mix it as well
To finish adding the touch of gray, I'm gonna be using the acrylic that I really like. I mentioned this in a lot of my videos. Um, this is a metallic uh, paint and it's the shade silver. I love this, so I also included a few drops in there, just swirl it a little bit. And, and then now we're ready to add it to the lids. Remember, be very careful. This is gonna be very sticky. Just make sure, for me, I do wear a mask. Uh, I don't like the scent as well. I'm just adding a little bit more white so then it could have more uh, the tones showing so it won't be just gray. And I think I like how it came out. So now we're just gonna add right on the top of the lid. Uh, I do have underneath a cardboard and also paper in case because like I mentioned this could be very sticky and uh, just just want to be careful so I drizzle some in the center and then I try to wiggle it around it was very thick so then I just continue to add a little bit more Here you can see all four are not the same, they're very different. Uh, I still have some remaining. I think the amount that I mentioned was pretty well enough to cover all four of the lids. Um, and I'm just gonna continue going for that marble look. And I'm just gonna add that right on top and then just swirl that around with the popsicle stick and continue giving those vein look. I really like how this came out. One thing, like I mentioned earlier, will be painting the lid first so then the wood doesn't show, but I don't mind that the wood is actually showing and it just gives me that marble look right on the top of the lid. I need this to let to sit uh, so then we can continue and add the doorknobs right on the top. The next step is adding that doorknob. I love this bling and I have used this in another project when I was doing the drawers. I love the sparkle, I love how it looks like. And I still had a few left, so I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna use it for the lids. And I think it came out really, really pretty. So now that they're set, they're completely dry, we go ahead and use, uh, apply a blue tape just to protect it. So then we could drill right through it. We just want to make sure that we find the center and you see the cross that is the center and that's giving you exactly how many inches uh, on both sides and it's exactly at two and a half. All of the lids are the same size so we're just going to go with that and we're going to go ahead now and drill the center. Some of the edges were a little rough, so just using sanding paper and sand all throughout uh, will make it a lot smoother. So this is how rough it looks. So now we're going to cover that area, so that's fine too. I was debating if I was going to be using the blink mesh or use another strip that I used in another project. And I feel like the strip looks so much better. And here is the one that I use for another project. And I think this is what I'm going to be using to cover that part of the lid.
I chose the chrome strip and that's what I'm going to be applying. You can use E6000, but also uh, using hot glue will help to make sure it sticks. And then once I finished, that was pretty easy to apply um, and then just add the rubber uh, to the lid. You will see that it struggles a little bit closing that some of the um, parts might go in of the strip. But other than that, I, I really made it work. You can see it just bend it here. Um, but you could you also use the other bling mesh in case that you prefer that. Um, overall, I really like how this came out. I love the marble look right on the top and I wanted to share with you guys this DIY was pretty easy and quick to do. Just climbing up these canisters, I really like how they came together. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know what you guys think and until the next video. Bye!